All right, today we're going to break some stuff. Well, I'm, I'm going to try to break some stuff. John's going to try to fix some stuff. Have hammer, we'll travel. Yeah, so here's the situation. Here's what's going on. You see, we got this little kink up here, and I think what's happening is this is a little too long, so it's pushing down there. So when the slide goes out and it pushes down, it kinks this up. Now, we're going to have to probably take this off and cut it down, or it may be the linoleum that needs to just be sliced in there. These are John's theories, not mine. <laughs> I didn't come up with this on my own. I have no idea what I'm doing. So he brought all those tools over and he's going to help us out because if I tried to do this, this whole piece would be ripped off and snapped in half after I got frustrated. We're not done yet. <laughs> True story. <laughs> <laughs> so that's why we wait until we have adult supervision to do stuff like this. Oh, I would definitely break this. <laughs> True story. The True trick story. is to go slow. Take your time. Don't get in a hurry. The last thing my wife said before I left the house, don't break anything. <laughs> <laughs> Uh-oh. There we go. Oh, look at this. Look at this, what it looks like back there. With no decorative stuff. We don't think the trim is the culprit. So you can see here, Actually, this piece of trim is a little bit longer too, but it goes up and then it goes across there. And then this piece of wall or piece of trim is longer than this piece. And it's just digging in to that linoleum right there. And, and when it digs in there, it causes that to crinkle when the slide comes all the way in. So I think what we're gonna do is, I say we, like I'm gonna do something. John is gonna cut this off and just kind of trim this wall down a little sliver and see if he can relieve some of that pressure off of there. It's like that on both ends of the slide. On this one too, it's not as bad on this one, but it is still digging in a little bit. It looks like they, at the factory, when they when they made this RV, they had shaved it off a little bit because it was too long on this end, but I don't know if they shaved it off enough. They didn't shave any off on that side, but I'll show you on this side where I think that they had shaved off a little bit to alleviate that. You can see right here, where it's just a little bit, a little sliver has been shaved off and up here, but I don't think that they did enough because it's still digging in right here. It digs in just on this edge right here and it causes that linoleum to kink up. So we may have to shave this one off a little bit more too. Definitely got to shave some off on the other side. It also looked like there was a little bit too much linoleum. So when the slide went all the way out, it was pushing up against it and kind of kind of pushing that and kinking it up. I think the main culprit is that, that wall, but there was a little bit too much linoleum, so John shaved off just a little little bit of that to, to alleviate that, if it's part of the problem. Uh-oh, we're cutting. Ah. Let's let it back out. Okay. Let's see what happens. Will you be able to tell even what the face is off? It feels like it's much it looks better. way better, yeah. Now I feel bad because John stabbed himself fixing our RV. <laughs> yeah. Don't stab yourself. I did. Mm. You got Damn, a napkin? You good. Oh, it just, just, it's like uh, we have an in injury. your finger. You want a we band have an injury? So Leslie's getting me a band aid. I got band aid. Yeah. <laughs> I'm filming. I'm Leslie's Leslie. over here. He's, Leslie's over here. I'm a, I'm a nurse. He's, he's, <laughs> a, he's a delegate. <laughs> band aid. Stat. Stat. <laughs> Oh yeah, you can once once John cut this thing out, you can see where that extra trim was just gouging into that linoleum, and that's probably what was causing the bubble. It's still a little bubbled up because I just think it it's been bubbling up for so long that that linoleum has got that memory in it of that of that curve. But let me show you this gouge. This this is crazy. Look at that, how deep that was pushing in there. But he just kind of shaved that thing out, cut that edge off right there. But you can tell when that slide was going all the way out, it was just pushing down in there, which was causing this to just just kind of bubble up so it feels a lot better now and I think once we get this linoleum trained to stay flat I think it's gonna work a lot better we may have to shave a little bit off the other side yeah, too. yeah, we'll I think we should. Now, yeah. now that we know what to do yeah cool I think the trim is still a little bit too long also because you can see where it was digging in a little bit just gonna shave just a little bit off the bottom of the trim too before we put it back on because you can see here where this we put it back in just to size it up and it bows out a little bit and you can see right here where 
that little part right there, that's where that trim was digging in also. So I think we just shave off just a little bit off the bottom there. And then with the addition of the, the slide being shaved off there, I think it'll be fine. Side one is done. And I don't think things crinkling up too bad. So now we're gonna do the other side. All right, we got both sides done and now we're gonna bring the slide in a little bit and then back out and see if we have alleviated any of the problems. Again, I keep saying we, and all I've been doing is holding the camera the whole time. <laughs> and Leslie's gonna move the slide out and they're gonna watch it and I'm gonna film it. When it gets seated all the way in there, let's see if it, right. it moves at all. Oh see, yeah, it didn't move. It didn't yeah. move. It's, just, it's just tamed. With that, yeah, that curve in it. That's but, the natural yeah. bubble we've created. Well, thank you guys for your help. We certainly appreciate <laughs> it. We would not have been able to do it without you. It's not going to be that expensive. It's <laughs> probably going to be bourbon, old fashioned, something yeah. involved yeah. in there the payment. I, we'll, well, we'll we, can, we, we can, can definitely that. afford that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Are we going to have to amputate that thumb or? You know, I can feel the sips are starting to set in. You know, <laughs> yeah. the, the bourbon may help. We'll see tonight yeah. how that how yeah. that goes. We'll if it helps get it yeah. out of my system. The yeah. bourbon will kill the gangrene. <laughs> it, it'll have morning. to. It'll have to kill the gangrene. <laughs> no, seriously though, we really appreciate yeah. it, guys. Yes. Thank you guys so much. This has been a frustration for the yeah. past couple of months. That was actually really, really easy. It but we're too scared much to, to do it. So yeah, <laughs> we're gonna teach you. Yeah. You hang around us. You hang around us long enough. It. We're yeah. gonna get you comfortable doing some things. Yeah. <laughs> Are you happy? I am so happy. Yeah. I mean, yes, we could have done it ourselves, but we most likely would have broke the trim. I just know. There's us. no way we could have done this by ourselves. Well, we didn't have that little tool that saw goes under the wall yeah. and saws. We would have had to get the that. The only but. part of this that I could have done on my own is stab myself. <laughs> I could do that. I could. I can staple the trim back on, but it yeah. would have been in pieces because you would have broke it taking it off. Yeah, so, so. big thank you to <laughs> John from Cotty Wampel Travels and our friend Dwayne. And yeah. uh, so yeah, we'll leave a link in the description if you want to check out um, John and Donna on uh, Cotty Wampel Travelers. Yeah. They're uh, really good people. Yes, We've been hanging are. out with them for the last four or five days, and mm -hmm. they didn't have to do that. That He offered to come over. We were just yeah. we were just talking about it in conversation. Yeah, and he, he said, I'll said, come over and fix it, I got it, the man. tools for that. So, so. we'll let him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to hold you back. <laughs> yeah, so if you're having this issue, issue in your RV that might be the issue maybe your your wall is just pushing down just or the frames pushing down long. a little bit just yeah. uh, gotta get it shaved down just a little bit yeah. and that'll remedy the issue it's just I look forward to not being a two-man operation on this slide so I can hold the floor yeah. flat as possible so it doesn't kink up as much yeah. and you open the slide for me well and even when you held it it didn't flatten all the way no it didn't flatten all the way but it was better than if you just let it go on its own yeah. so this is gonna be now much it's better. gonna be so pretty yeah <laughs> hey, stick around for a few seconds. We're going to honor a fallen hero. If you want to get involved with helping us help veterans out on the road, everything you need to know is right down in the description of the video. Yep. Appreciate you watching. <laughs> See you next time. Bye. Bye.